Hi everyone, this is Finola Howard from How Great Marketing Works and this is Ask Finola How, episode 32. And this week's question from a real entrepreneur, real question from a real entrepreneur is as follows. So this week we're actually doing uh, market research, okay? And really looking at that idea of market research. And so this question this week was, how much do I need to know about the size of the market I'm targeting and how do I find out about their value, okay? So the first thing that I want to say to you today is you need, so the thing is that I'm often asked this question when somebody thinks that their market is too small and that they actually don't need to pay attention to it. And I'm wanting you to pay attention to it. And it's a very, very simple reason I have for doing that. And that is you need to know the answer to the question of how much how many people are in this market, because you need to know if you have a viable business in this targeted customer category, this targeted customer that you have. You need to know there are enough of them there, not just for now and not just for this year, but you need to know that there's enough of those people there, enough of those target customers there for the life of your business. So it's really important to understand them and to understand how many of them there are and how much money they have to spend. So really important, you are never too small to do this research because seeking the answer to this question actually brings so many benefits to it. But we start with, is the market big enough? You really need to know that answer. And the, let me continue, because otherwise I should just meander and that's not really good, you know? <laughs> so, okay, so the next thing that I want you to think about is, you also want to know the answer to the question of, are there enough people there that will pay for the answer to this problem? So you start your business wanting to try, wanting to solve a problem, wanting to solve somebody's challenge or problem they're facing. But sometimes people can find the answer without needing to pay for it. And they can find the answer, yeah, I know, and the ultimate answer there is Google will find them the answer or YouTube will find them the answer. but. The thing is, we always know that Google will give us so much, YouTube will give us so much, but it's not just about that. It's thinking about if you're solving a problem, for example, if you want to provide support for um, people in some form of pain uh, that have been through some experiences, there may be support groups that already do that for free. If you have a product, like say, for example, you had you made this wonderful widget that could actually tell how much oil is left in somebody's tank. But somebody might actually choose to just get a stick and dip it into their tank. So we want to know, are there enough people, one, are there enough people out there? And two, are there enough people out there that will pay for this service or product? These are the primary questions you want to know in order to ensure that you have a viable business in the making, okay? That's the first two things I want to say to you. The other thing I kind of want you to think about is I find that when people ask me this question, it's that they're thinking at the top level of their to of their customer. And you've talk heard me talking about customer profile before and your best answer to market viability is always if you've profiled your customer beef enough, be deeply enough. So that means that if you're going to do market research, you need to market research deeply enough. You don't just say, oh, well, my target customer is female entrepreneurs or my target customer is multinationals or my target customer is whatever. You need to go a layer in to actually see, to get the answer to how much or how many. OK, so you may say to yourself, well, it's actually female entrepreneurs that are in the, in the yoga industry or female entrepreneurs that have they're turning over six figures or female entrepreneurs, whatever. If it's a multinational, it's perhaps what industry are they in? Maybe how old that industry is, because maybe what you are offering is a way to improve their workflow. Or you're bringing robotics into them, which I've had a client do that before. And we wanted to know what stage of uh, development that industry is in, because in those industries, you can tell how much investment has already been made. So this is always about getting specific. And the more specific you are about your customer, the better the answer that you get, okay? And the more clear your answer is about your market research. And the market research is going to tell you more than just, I have enough customers. 
It's going to tell you things about, well, how do they phrase their problem? How do they articulate their pain point? It'll show you the quirks and the idiosyncrasies, idiosync, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> the weird parts of your customer that you come to know and love that actually give you greater depth of understanding, which means your messaging gets better. You are able to target them better because you're able to relate to them in a language that they can understand. So your research does more than tell you there's enough, even though that's the primary question. The research tells you how better to serve them, how to tweak their product, how to tweak the product that you have for them, how to tweak the service you have for them, and how to communicate with them. Don't ever underestimate that value there. Um, and also to say to you, when you start doing research, the joy is in framing the right question. The way you frame the question is how you get the answer. So I kind of did a little Googling to give you an example here today, okay? So one of the things, the way that I, when I'm talking to clients about when they're looking, or people on my programs, when they're looking about asking those questions, I always keep it really simple. There's ultimately in market research, there's only five questions you're ever wanna go to have, you're ever going to want to have answers to. And they'll be around customer, product, uh, competitor, what's the fourth one? The fifth one is what action will I take? But in this case, if you are talking specifically about customer, the question I would enter into Google, because it's always your start point is, and I'm just gonna read it for you, okay? How many, and it's whatever customer, and it's being specific. So if it is how many uh, yoga instructors, so how many enter your customer, are there in your geographical market? That's how you start, with a very simple, precise question. Now, so for example, I frame it for you. How many female yoga instructors are there in Poland, right? What's interesting about this, because I did a little Google before I started this live, and I asked the question, and I, and I want to share this with you because it's really important when you're starting to research, because invariably you won't get the direct answer. And what I want you to learn here is to delve a little, to dig a little, to explore a little, to create space for you to delve. So I asked the question, how many uh, yoga instructors are there in Poland? And the answer I got was uh, over 100,000 there. I got an answer for the UK. And the answer was over 10,000 and they earn 27.74 per hour. And I'm like, that's very interesting. So I can actually find out how much money they make per hour. I can find out how many there are. Yeah, I didn't get it directly about Poland, but it gave me, it reassured me that I can find an answer. It also gave me lists of associations where I could find them. So you're getting that answer as well, because that tells you when you're thinking about marketing funnel, it tells you where to be, what search terms they're using to find you. You will yield so much more than this question is targeted at finding an answer to. So I found a history of yoga in Poland that was longer than imagined, than longer than when it had been there. It was tied up with the, with the whole cultural history of Poland. I find the answer to what's the average rate that a yoga instructor in Poland will make. I may now go and just simply Google how much does a yoga instructor make in Poland? Or, you know what I mean? You get specific. You start, you open the door with one very framed, very specific question and then you navigate and meander a little to pull at it because it's never directly going to answer you outright. So dig. The other clue for you, apart from doing the obvious straight question, and I'll put it in the, in the comments when I upload this later, is also think about who else wants the answer to this question, right? So depending on the industry you're in. So I will always, always look at Who's done it before? So for example, in every country, there's a central statistics office. So you will find out about if your target market is parents, entrepreneurs, anything. There'll always be information about self-employed people who are female, how many parents there are, what age are their children? You know, you will get all that specific information in the central statistics office. You will also find that in a specific industry, there are so many associations that are continue to, continuing to do research because governments invest in industries. So they do have information. So start there. You don't have to originate research. 
you can do what we call secondary research when you're actually piggybacking off what someone else has found out. The other thing, apart from government agencies and organizations that are dedicated to industries, there will be people who want to find answers about that from another perspective. So sometimes if you want to know the value of what those people are earning, I found, so as an example, in female entrepreneurship, Halifax a few years ago when they were present in the in the Irish market they actually did so much research on the level of pensions that uh, entrepreneurs had they did so much research on average earning potential of female entrepreneurs in Ireland because they were actually identifying them as a target themselves so someone else is looking for the answer you're looking for that's going to help you figure out whether your market is viable or not and again, I am focusing, I'm say, repeating for you, do get specific. Don't just go top level. It doesn't serve you. Top level of telling me how many women are in business in Ireland or in England or anywhere else is, is too big. You need to drill down a little and get specific so that you get something you can use beyond the verification of the market. You want to find out the stuff that makes you stand out. What can you leverage because you know something deeper about that person, about that target customer, okay? You'll actually find mes mes things that will help you with messaging, positioning, uh, where they congregate, who the influencers are, all of that stuff that will help you frame a marketing plan with really valid data. Just wanna check if I have anything else I wanted to say to you. Yeah, that's it. Whatever you discover, the market research will help you to benefit your business. Spend the time doing it, dig a little. And another really good tip, and I did this with this group, I'm work, the Get Strategic group last night, was ask people. Because in your circle, there will always be either a customer or a supplier in your circle. So ask them the question and ask them, can you give me two ideas of who else might be, of where I can find the answer to this question? That's beyond Google. They will, it's surprising how people's minds think and how you can get and how it can trigger other directions. So go for it. It helps. It's a fundamental part of your marketing. It directly relates to whether your business is viable or not. And it also helps you craft something much more impactful. So go for it. And... I'm going to say goodbye now. <laughs> so this has been Finola Howard. This has been Ask Finola How, episode 32. And the question was, how much do I need to know about the size of the market I'm targeting? You need to know if it's viable. That's the answer. And how do I find out about their value? Start by Googling and then look for people who are also looking for the answer to that question. You will be surprised what you discover. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I shall see you next week. And if you have a question for me, because I love questions, please put them in the comments. DM me. I have no problem answering any question from any entrepreneur because I like it. So have a great day. Take care.